is KUTV News at 9. Many thanks for choosing to stay with us. Now, today is the International Men's Day. However, we have, of course, been highlighted by Ouma, our reporter, who was giving us, you know, a recap of the story on how the events unfolded today, that the UN has not even recognized this day, uh, you know, as the International Men's Day. However, there is the Happy International Women's Day that is officially recognized across the globe, across the world. Now, today there are concerns on the boy child's neglect, you know, losing the, the value of the man in the society and women being empowered. Some people even, you know, uh, blaming this on legislation, some blaming it on religion, some blaming it on affirmative action, you know, etc. Today I'm joined by a life coach. She is, of course, very, very powerful from, you know, uh, what she's doing with the boy child and the men out there. I, I just wish that you'd meet her officially on air. Thank you so much for being here, Jedida. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. My name is Jedidaya Viticia. Okay. Jedidaya Viticia is a life and business coach, but more so I work in the community. I love building capacities of people, building capacities to become, because for me, once someone becomes, they begin to walk. Mm -hmm. They get into their destiny. That's my passion. So they have to become. They have to become. Unless you become, you don't go. If you don't grow, you don't go. Mm -hmm. Because growth is not the body. Growth is the inside you knowing who you are, understanding where you're going. Because when you know where you're going, you begin to partner with the right people and do the right things. Mm -hmm. That is what disconnects us from a lot of things. Because you can have a CV and documents and papers, but you can't work because the CV is papers that are outside you. So they are disconnected from who you are. That is what I do. That very, is my very, passion. Very, very, very clear. You, you have made it. In fact, I like your introductory remarks on, you know, somebody once said human beings are people who continue to become. Exactly. Every day we become. It's gradual. It's gradual. Now, Jedida, you're doing something with the boys. I'm doing something with the boys because for me, I do not just capacity enhancement. I do entrepreneurship. Yes. And I do advocacy. Okay. And when I talk about the boy child, I talk about the boy child from the perspective of the boy child is not just the man crossing from circumcision to become a man, the boys to men initiative. No, it's about the man becoming a man from inside. Okay. When a man becomes a man from inside, he's able to, to lead. He's able to handle challenges. He's able to commit to a pathway. He's able to live not being intimidated by a powerful woman. All right. Because okay. when a man gets intimidated by a powerful woman, they begin to show them mother out because they want to lower that status of a woman. So it becomes a battle. It becomes a battle. All right. But when you are confident with a woman who's powerful, with a woman who has a vision, with a woman who is educated, you build them, you celebrate. Because if we go back even to what structure we come from, with our parents from mm -hmm. the olden days. Women, yes, were not vocal, but they built the home, and the men stood in the home. But the woman was building the children, and the men celebrated being told, these are the children of so-and-so. Yes. Jedida, from, from, you know, from your perspective, you just you know, reminded me that uh, so far there has been a contention in the society, especially Kenya to be specific, since the gender equity and gender equality you know, program started being pushed as an agenda by different organ organizations by the government. There has been a you know, um, word out here that men are losing their place in society because of women empowerment. So you've just mentioned that a strong man should not be intimidated. Do you, however, agree that this could have a place in you know, uh, the, the kind of man we have in society today? And if you do agree that uh, we are probably losing uh, men in society, you could also make it clear. We are losing the men in the society, not because women are being empowered. Okay. Because yes, we focused on the woman more, but we did not focus on giving the man the right components to become. Because men don't learn, like when a man grows and becomes 18, you don't tell him what to do. All right. A man learns from observing. Because when he sees the other man doing, he then he becomes that. He wants to emulate that man. So the society has, f we have failed as a society. Because women are strong. Okay. Women are resilient. 
But men are not that strong to continue going through a challenge. They give up. Mm -hmm. Maybe they go to drugs. Mm -hmm. Maybe they go to a bar. A man just goes to a bar to look for somebody thing to blame. Okay. Such that they call him an alcoholic. Not because he's alcoholic, but he's escaping from sorting out what is affecting him. All right. So when we build their capacities from inside, so they become the strength of the community, the leadership platform, the anchor of the society. Then they are able to lead us into the right direction. It's not about the policy. It's not about the documentation. It's not about giving more money to women or giving more money to men platforms. It's about creating an avenue of where, dad, where did we go wrong? Can our fathers come back to the mm -hmm, table mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and begin to build the strength of men? All right. Are we lacking mentorship? Are, are we lacking right... Uh, the right... Mm. Is, it, is it about father figure? Is we it about lacking. uncles and, and, and men we, to work with this boy? You have said the right thing. Okay. We are lacking right platforms for father figures. We are lacking right platforms for uncle figures. Because long time ago, when men were circumcised, they went through the challenges of being taught by grandfathers what a man is. All right. Now, yes, we take them through church platforms of crossovers. But do those crossovers feed them to the extent of them becoming men? And when they come from those crossovers, do they work with the uncle or do they work with the movie? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Because when they work with a the movie, they begin to want to become an American and the African man is an African man. Unless you're living in America... You are an African man. You have the components because those components of you being an African man will beat you when you meet an African woman who is strong and wants you to groom her in the house to become a man. Jedida, I, I want to take us back to the very key cases of homicides that we have witnessed through this last week. Let me just talk about this month. Of course, we have seen cases of women, you know, battering and killing their husbands, their domestic partners, and even their children. But allow me, because today is Men's International Day, to focus on the cases that were highlighted in uh, Nanyuki and Nakuru. The most recent, of course, uh, the very key one in court right now is of the major Mugure, who's now former major after being stripped off that particular title for murdering of course that is a suspect for the key suspect for the murder of his wife and two children ages 10 and 5 very very young children and somebody would ask why the homicides why would a man especially for example the major who is one of the most respected and trusted uh, persons in not just in the government but within the society to go that far why would a man uh, kill his estranged wife or his partner and his children. Could this be anything uh, from your perspective? From my perspective, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but from my perspective, this man could not handle the woman maybe, or could did not have the strength to handle the situation that was there. And he didn't want to talk about it. All right. Because you see, when, when men are working together, they compare notes of each other. Okay. Yes. Men compare each other and compete in their own di diversities. So as they are competing and comparing notes and he does not want to talk about it, this will bring me shame, this I, I can't handle it. Because when you can't handle something as a man, you look for what an escape route. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So this could have been an escape route for him, watch a new way, and maybe he was going to kill himself. All right, okay. All right. Now, somebody is watching and they're saying, fine, men are in these cocoons. They probably society molded them to a place where they felt, well, I cannot talk about this because then I have to have something to blame it on so that no one sees me as less of a man. What is the solution? What, what can we do as a society and how can women, who now rather appear more powerful, come in? And uh, I don't know if there's any, any other solutions that you have from your, from your line of coaching to, to bring from these men back to their place. Bringing men back to the place is creating platforms of mentoring them. All right. Helping men understand their inner strength and become the men in the society. It's not about condescending mm -hmm. or telling a man you're bad or telling a man you're this. Okay. Because, because it, when I am working with somebody, I don't tell them, oh, these challenges are there, these challenges are there. Challenges are there. Mm -hmm. But who are you? 
Because when you conquer who you are and you conquer what you're going through, if I know the strength that I have and I compare it with what I'm going through, mm. the strength of what I have overcomes what I'm going through and I'm able to move to the next level. And if men, especially older men in the society who have gone through these challenges can come up and come out and create and become pillars in the society. Because in the long days, a man will just sit with his father. They've said nothing. Mm, all right. But each person has weighed their strength. And they know who's older and who's younger. And the father will say one word and the vision is straightened. All right. So that strength needs to be restored to men. To understand who they, Because women will continue to grow in their empowerment. Women will continue to build projects. Women will want to become presidents. In the traffic jamming, you see women in bigger cars. Thank you. <laughs> they will continue to buy bigger houses. They All will right. continue to buy bigger cars. They will continue to buy aircrafts. They will even bring drones to Kenya. All right. Now, somebody is watching back at home. Remember, you can, of course, follow this live on KTV Kenya. Give us your comments on what we're discussing in regard to the International Men's Day and the position of the man in the country and in our societies. Now, you have really emphasized on working with the man and, and the ankles and, and so on. But uh, somebody could probably be asking, OK, fine, leadership. But we have a lot of single parenthoods, a lot of houses that are already broken already. Um, is this supposed to come from the government? It can never come. Because from it, it's, it, it, what we are seeing is the disintegration of the community, of the cultural aspect. So who, who, who next? Who is left for these boys? You see, from my perspective, perspective marriages don't stand. Not because at men are bad, no. Okay. Because this man didn't have the capacity to handle this woman. You still insist that? I it? insist that. Okay. I still stand with that. Because, because a woman will walk out of a marriage because they think the man is not able to handle them, or the man is not able to provide, or the man is not able to do something. So they will chase the man out, or the marriage breaks. Even if the government is to create policy that men should stay married, Women or men will still walk away. So it's an emotional issue. <laughs> it is not a policy issue. It is not a money issue. Because a man will have so much money, give this woman so much money, bring so much money, build a huge house, but the marriage may break. So what went wrong? All right. Yes. Now, there's a man watching today and they're thinking, okay, fine, this is where I am right now. I've done my mistakes. I am where I am. How do they start the internal work themselves? You're a life coach from your angle now. His personal efforts, where does he start from? Without even his group, this mentorship that, that are being brought up, where does he start from? How can he begin this journey again and be the father of the next kin that could now establish a better generation of men? Where can he start from? Mm -hmm. The first thing, the first step that this man should actually accept where he is. Okay. Because what I believe is, is when you don't accept where you are, you remain in the mud of wallowing with what you're going through. Accept it. Now begin to understand who you are. Because unless you pick up who you are, you will remain not knowing where you're going. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Because when you know who you are, you will work on you to become it. And working on you to become it is connecting to the right people, the right platforms, doing the right things, not watching movies every now and then, changing what you read, changing what you understand, changing what you do, creating an initiative, giving back to the society, loving yourself. And in the process, you become a man who understands, even if this strong woman comes into my life, I can handle her. Because I know where I'm going, I know what to become, I know what I can do, I know who I am, I have a destiny pathway. I'm not just a useless man sitting around like a loaf of bread. All right, allow me to laugh at that particular remark. You're yeah. not just a loaf of bread. Jedida, as we close, um, I would personally acknowledge that men are very important in society. Oh, they are very um, important. So as we give you parting words, the value of a man in the society as Jedida. Where As Jedidiah, God created men first in his image and his likeness. Mm. 
So the first representation and structure of who God is is a man. Okay. He saw the void and brought a woman for the strength, for building a community, for building the entire world and for taking care of it. So men have a position and they are important. And reinforcing that position will bring leadership, will bring the right structure. See, in a community, in a home even, like when I used to see my mom, well, let me use my mother as a structure. My mother would just begin to make noise in the house for my mother to say, for my father to say a word of mm -hmm. enough. Okay. That was it. That was it. Okay. To understand whether the strength is still in the house. So men have their position and they are very important in the community. Thank you so much for being here. I have heard you correct me over and over again. It is Jedidiah. Thank you very and much. And not Jedida. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. You are been you've been very inspirational. And of course, I'm sure the, the viewer back at home is challenged to have seen a woman speak very strongly uh, on behalf of men. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to, of course, many other men tweeting and watching tonight to tell us what you picked from this particular conversation on the International Men's Day and the value of man in the society. Now let's take a look.